Um, so um, in Belgium uh, there are approximately now uh, four or five uh, cannabis clubs. Uh, uh, the cannabis clubs in Belgium are uh, clearly inspired by the Spanish uh, uh, model, the Spanish uh, cannabis social clubs. And there are remarkable uh, similarities between the two. Uh, like in Spain, uh, the cannabis movement has made use of uh, some of uh, some grey legal areas in uh, in the legislation. And uh, for example, in Belgium, the drug legislation now allows one adult to have one female cannabis plant. Uh, and that's why uh, these Belgian uh, cannabis social clubs uh, argue if. Uh, one person is allowed to have one uh, plant, then uh, 50 people can have uh, 50 plants and grow them uh, together. So uh, basically it's uh, similar like in Spain, they make use of uh, a legal area in the, in the legislation. The clubs, uh, in my opinion, uh, are an interesting model uh, to look at if you are interested in uh, studying alternative drug policies, because of course uh, in Belgium too, like in many other places in the world, there is a growing awareness that uh, the war on drugs uh, does not work. And that prohibition of cannabis uh, creates criminality, uh, criminal uh, involvement, uh, etc. Um, so, in the, in the discussions uh, about alternative drug policies, uh, this model, I think, is uh, really interesting to look at. In Spain, uh, the governments have uh, waited for a very long time to think about regulating the cannabis social clubs. But in Belgium, as in many other European countries, there are discussions about this war on drugs, which doesn't work, uh, looking for alternatives. And um, uh, of course, there's a long way ahead of us, uh, but uh, you can see that uh, there is a, a, a growing awareness of the failure of the war on drugs, the, the need for a serious debate on uh, alternative uh, regulation. Uh, for example, in the Netherlands, there are more than 40 mayors of cities uh, that have asked their central government to allow them to experiment with regulation of cannabis cultivation, the back door of the coffee shops in the Netherlands. And so there are uh, many places where I would say uh, from bottom up there is discussion about uh, alternative policies because there is a growing awareness that change in the debate will not come from uh, the international bodies and the change of the international treaties. My feeling is that uh, the international treaties will not be changed very soon. Uh, it's probably going to be changed when there is already a change in reality uh, at the local level. You can see that at the local level, in cities, in regions, uh, uh, people are trying to look for solutions to get out of uh, the, the, uh, the discussion. Um, we have waited for many years um, uh, for a change on the international level, a discussion about the change of the international treaties, but more and more people realize uh, that uh, this is probably the last thing eh, uh, that will happen and that change is going to come from grassroots initiatives, local experiments, uh, local governments uh, trying to be creative uh, and, and try to find uh, new models. It's, uh, you can see that in the Netherlands where the, the, the Minister of Justice says we will not experiment with legal uh, legalization of cannabis because the international treaties don't allow it. But you can see that the mayors of the cities uh, are uh, uniting. Uh, they have uh, written a document uh, which is called Joint Regulation uh, in which they ask uh, for some space to have local experiments. Uh, you can see also in Belgium that uh, there are discussions about uh, the policy as it stands today, that it doesn't work, that we need to critically evaluate it. Uh, and so I think in the next years, uh, in several European countries, you will see uh, these things happening. Uh, of course, uh, many people also in Europe are looking at the de developments in uh, Latin America, 
what is going to happen with uh, the Uruguayan experiment, if I, if I can call it like that. Uh, everybody is looking at Colorado, at Washington. Uh, so uh, the world is looking at these places to see uh, if uh, uh, they can learn from it and if uh, uh, some of these experiments are successful then uh, I think uh, it will inspire other uh, local authorities and national authorities to think uh, more explicitly about uh, alternative cannabis policies.